Hey guys, and welcome back to Metal Arms Glitch in the System. When we last left off, we were pretty deep behind enemy lines, to be honest. Um, we were chasing that idiot robot. Uh, seems to be eluding us so far. Anyway, we've lost one of our own, apparently. Now, let's go see if we can change that and find our friend, shall we? Ah, <laughs> oh yeah, this bit. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Everything's going to be cool. So, we need to hit these generators to stop these bloody droids regening. Oh man, we only have so much health. We also have rather nasty big boy turrets, which you may have noticed. These turrets really suck. They do way more damage, they're more accurate, they track you much better, and they have like grenade launchers as well, I believe. Ugh, nasty, nasty things. Okay, so what's going on now? Don't want to start killing any of these guys before, this might be our undoing, before we take all of these out. There we go, right. Open season on these millbot chumps. One down. Health is not looking fantastic, but that's okay. That's fine. Oof. Oof. We need to take a bit of a breather. Oh, God, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. We only have three rockets left. Oh, hey, friend. Damn, look at that guy. Hocking grenades at us. Ah, oh, much better. Yeah, that room's kind of hairy. <laughs> Let's just say that is... Uh, Literally a little bit of foreboding on what's to come later on. Now, we need two chips to open that door, but we don't have any chips. So, let's have a little run around here and see what we can find. Yeah. We need to get above, I think. Yes. Using this rather nicely placed jump pad here. Okay. I'm really getting interested in these Souls-like games as well. Uh, I have been in this really frustrating pit of depression for a while. Um, where I've just been hermiting. And I've been looking at a lot of... Um, looking up a lot of these Souls-like games. And oh, they're just so much fun to watch, you know? I did watch uh, a long-ass time ago. My friend uh, Neil. Uh, on his own channel, actually. Do a playthrough of... Oh, I think it was the first game, and it was so good. Right. And I have been watching quite a bit of um, Demon Souls for the PS5. And, oh, man. There's something about it. I think what it is, when you watch somebody else play it... Uh, I mean, I've only seen a couple of episodes, but when you watch somebody else play it, it looks so bloody easy, you know? And I know if I played it myself, I'd just get pissed off really quickly. Anyway, ah, uh, glitch, you fool. Try that again, shall we? All right, up and over. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I don't deal well with frustrating game design. So, ugh, these wires. There we go. Um, oof. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, glitch. You need to go down the hole. Now, I don't think there's anything else stashed away. We haven't had any gold washers for a while, have we? Uh, right, let's beep the boop. Uh-oh. Disturbance, little old me. Yeah, this is going to go... This is going to go badly, isn't it? Right, let's try and... Snipe this dude. Oh god. At least put up a fight. I'm trying. I'm trying. These guys definitely have a bit of a bite to them. They're not as intimidating as they look. But two of them is a little bit saucy. Uh what equipment do we have? Ooh. Oh god. Blue on blue action there. Right, have one of those. Yep, that's going to hurt them. Now, they're very hard to damage their limbs. And for that reason, they're actually 
a little bit more challenging than Titans, I would say. Okay, well, let's go grab up these rockets. Rockets, please. Thank now, is there any more health dotted around? I'm pretty sure we actually picked it all up. How are you feeling, Glitchy? You good? You ready to rumble? Excellent. Well, yeah, we did get the spew level 3 as well. Not overly brilliant against some of these bigger droids, to be honest. But, you know. Um, for cleaning up the, the little guys, this thing is plenty. I mean, it can damage the big guys. You could probably destroy a Titan with it. But uh, you you might take so much damage in doing that. Okay. There we go. Open, says me. Oh, talking of cleaning up the little guys. A little bit something like that. Oh, Jesus. See that gun turret there? Menacingly looking at us. Oh, hi, friend. Yeah, I saw you. What the? Hey, friend. And be careful, this guy, he's got a rocket launcher. I don't know why he's not firing his rocket launcher at us. Ow, that hurts. I have no idea what the hell that guy just said. But he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh my god, these gun turrets. Oh, they suck. There we go. He's gone. He's gone. Blaster to the rescue. Um, now, let's switch up. Let's get the coring charges back out, you know. Uh, you know what they say. Standard load ain't for every road, but we're going to lean on it for just a little bit. These coring charges definitely stay relevant for a while. Um, okay. So it looks like we got a doodab there. Millbots only, eh? Wow. That won't do. I don't actually know if we can get in here. I'm going to say no. But having said that. Ah, there won't be any. Re nah, 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 nah. There's no way. Nope. Good thought, Glitchy, my man. But I don't think we can. Okay. Right. Uh, not sure why we didn't get the button prompt there, but whatever. Now, now this one, I remember, it took me a little while to figure out what to do. I was convinced it was something to do with this. Maybe shooting this laser around would blow the door open. Now, we can't, we can't open it from this side. Which is a little bit awkward. So, what, pray tell, do we do? Intruder? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, God. Ooh. Looks like we've got a guard. Yeah, we've got a few guards here. Jesus. Oh, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> uh, I think I'm dead. I'm not really sure. Can't move. Which is strange. That's okay. We can have as many goes at this thing as we want. Okay. Um, right. Let's get rid of all these gits in here. Before we think about the proper task at hand. Then I suppose removing the enemy scum would be quite high on the list. Now, you can actually kill... Whoa. Oh, our gun's broken. Our gun is broken. This is really not good. Let's kill ourselves. We need our gun not to be broken. Okay. Oh. He's broken. I like it when the enemies are broken. That's fine. It's just when we're broken. That's a little bit awkward. Right. So, we can actually go quite far over this way, which is nice, because we can actually destroy a lot of enemies down here. Alright, let's open up this little passage here so these guys can get out. <laughs> the fools! Oh, you fools. Alright, not bad. Yeah, we're losing the signal here a little bit, but it's okay. 
that's okay. We should be able to aggro these guys. Now, luckily, although we're not that strong, um, we do have a very powerful weapon, in all fairness. Yes. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. Got a cleaner there. There's another droid. There he is. Does look like these millbots do have, well, if not max level weapons, they have pretty high level weapons. All right, that'll do, that'll do. Our arm is disabled, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, now there is another thing we can do. If we get the angle just right, yeah. I'm not sure why these guys are actually on this ledge here. So, you can actually, because of the way this gun works, and the tip of the arrow, or the tip of the bolt, will go through a little bit of the screen. So if they're actually close enough to the glass, you can damage them, which I think is really funny. Unfortunately, the blast doesn't hurt them, which is a shame. But they will get the they will get damage from the just the tip. Lol. Oh my god! Look at this. I've never managed to get all of them up here though. Usually they hide behind that um, computer down there. So this is interesting. Usually you can destroy one. In fact, you can always destroy one of these grunts through this window. But all of them? That's definitely a new new one for me I don't know if we can hurt this guy though doesn't look like it now nah, maybe his models just a little bit too far yeah he's just a little bit too far out of range for us never mind we caused a considerable amount of damage anyway so Alright, now, let's get out of here. Let's go open the door for old Glitchy. Beautiful. Now, this actually can be a bit of a pain in the balls getting out of there. Uh, now, is that guy going to come through now? No. Alright, fair enough. Let's kill ourselves. That was a very limp wristed grenade. I approve. That was a regular um, Gordon Freeman throw. Cool. Now, let's grab up all of this stuff. Ugh. Yeah, this is really not an easy trench to get out of. Uh, now, you know what? You know what? Let's go with this. Come on, friendarino. Let's dance. Let's dance. Now, if we actually back up, I wonder. I wonder if he's going to be stupid. Hmm. At least, put up a fight. At least put up a fight, he says. Uh, he's not going to do it, is he? Go on, you stupid bastard. Come on. Now, what you can do with this guy, uh, and every time I practice this mission... Which was quite a few times, because this mission is quite a lot of fun. I managed to get him to run through the laser. Now, he's not going to do it this time. Ah, oh, typical sod's law, that. Oh, well. It's just fill him full of these rounds. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, he was bleeding. Okay, good enough. Yeah, that was typical, um, you know, let's play a curse in full effect right there. Quite often, in fact, as I said, every time I had practiced this mission, uh, he had run straight through that laser and blew himself up, which was hilarious. Okay, now we're not in the best of shape, but there should be plenty of health around here. I don't think we can jump over there. Nah, it's not going to happen, is it? No way. But we will get there a little bit later on anyway, so no worries there. Right, let's keep 
moving forwards. Now, luckily, we have already cleared out quite a chunk of this area. Oh, yeah, and I forgot about that. I did forget about that. These gun turrets, oh, they hurt. Oh, they hurt. This is another area that's actually quite hard to get out of. Right, let's get some more rockets in here. I always forget about these little turrets that open up. These aren't even the little ones anymore. These are the big boy turrets. The turrets that are going to bend you over a barrel and fuck you in the ass. Especially if you get too close. Uh, okay. Now. Now, there is a little secret up here. Well, I mean, it's kind of pretty obvious if you think about it. But we can go up here and get ourselves some gear. Yes. Now, that does... Uh, oh, shit. I forgot about him. I thought we took him out. Not quite, obviously. All right, well, ow. Come on, you big, ugly, red bastard. See how you like my shotgun. You obviously don't seem to mind it that much, actually. Which is a little bit awkward. Wow. That guy kind of kicked our ass, to be honest. Yeah. Don't go forgetting where the enemies are, kids, because that happens. <sighs> okay. Well, we may be able to redeem it a little bit by having a look up here. And I need to sneeze. I think we left some health in here. Fingers crossed, anyway. What do we have? Yeah, we did. Okay, that's fine. Uh, two batteries. Well, it certainly could be worse. Let's say that. Yeah, we can destroy the stuff, some coins as well. Um, I guess we'll use them, I suppose. I mean, it's not much, but trust me, in this game, every freaking coin counts. Now, there has to be uh, loads and loads. Oh, sweet machine gun ammo. There has to be loads of gold coins that we've missed. Because I remember them being a lot more common than they actually are. Oh, God, this bit. Having said that, this game is quite a bit longer um, than I remember as well. I mean, I've been playing this for a hell of a lot of <laughs> hell of a long time now, over a week. Uh, we're not even halfway through. Oh, I need some coffee after that. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe a little bit too much flavouring in that one. I mean, it's good flavouring. Almond and coconut. No, almond and vanilla. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit too much. Hey, guys. Look at this. I don't think it's my first assignment, chaps. Right, let's go clear out these guys. Nice. Now, unfortunately, we've taken quite a bit of damage. We're literally just around here. I do love the fact that our shields actually ripple with the incoming projectiles. Now, through here, ladies and... Oh, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, through here, it is flavor country. Now, we've seen big generators. But we have... Ah, oh, shit. And I fucked that up royally. We've seen big generators. Right? Or oh, the little generators, I should say. But we haven't seen generators before that spawned those grunts. Um, or guards, I believe they're called. Uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at through here. Now, let's try and be a sneaky little son of a bitch. See if we can be sly. Yep, so we can chop down one of those nukes. Uh, things are about to get dicey. Now, have we destroyed all of the big doodads yeah okay we have uh, well I got a few tricks up my sleeve don't you worry about that sunny Jim right we need to kill you 
believe it or not, that guy's probably the biggest threat to us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that and, uh, you know, not standing next to highly explosive material. That's also bad. Yeah, um, <laughs> the guard accidentally destroyed all of the explosives next to me there. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Okay. Now, if we could do this again without fucking up. I mean, it's a tall order for me, but we'll try. Oh, I just went slightly too far out of range. Trooper, report. Now, you'll notice that these generators are a lot weaker than the ones we're used to. Yep. Unfortunately... Whoa! We got really lucky there. I think we managed to hit an explosive barrel and take out most of them, which would actually be quite nice. Unfortunately, those grunts, um, or guards, I should say, are not actually very good at fighting each other. Their weapons don't do much damage against each other, uh, which is slightly problematic. But that's okay. Glitch definitely has the weaponry to take these guys out. Yeah, it looks like there's two left. I would rather fight these guys than Titans, put it that way. I mean, their scatter shots do become pretty useless at long range. Oh, yes. And those coring charges really do hurt them quite a lot. And the coring charges, luckily, aren't exactly rare. They're literally everywhere. So, not a terrible result. Right, we did grab that health. Okay. There's probably health further back, but... Ah, uh, bloody... That's unfortunate. Yeah, we can't get up there. That's fine. Now. Nice job, Turdbot. It's about time you cleared those guys out. Turdbot. And hiding up here for a f***ing month, living off oil puddles and tin scraps. I thought you were captured. I escaped, dumbass. These shills couldn't hold a conversation. Anyway, I hacked one of the consoles and got some info. Corrosive stole some research from Exabolt and is using him to help figure out the secret to all this Morbot crap. Something about the Morbots being gone and they're trying to find out where they went or some shit. It also looks like Corrosive was using all our f***ing ore to build some sort of space station. My guess is that they're planning to get the f*** out of Dodge. Space station? So that's where Black's trying to transmit the location of Droid Town. Way to piece it together, Jack. You find my Morbot power chip yet because I know for a fact that Corrosive wants it to get into the f***ing Morbot region. I went over for 2. No chip and no zombie. That mod is almost as useless as you. He lost himself. Now jump up here and let's go get that chip. I can't. It's too high. It's too high. My head fell off. It's always something with you f***ing bots. Okay, <laughs> I think I can get through up here. I'll see if I can go around and unlock the door. I'll use my control tether to make those vermin f***ers blast themselves. <laughs> you gotta love Crunk. Okay. Well, that'll do, Donkey. That'll do. The search for Crunk. Yes. Well, we found Crunk, and he appears to be his uh, old fine self. Anyway. So when we come back, guys, we're going to go through and uh, we actually get to play as Crunk, which is interesting. He doesn't have any weapons, but he has another trick up his uh, sleeve. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.